Everyone want to stand with us this morning? Are y'all feeling a little bit tired today? Yes. Everyone seems a little tired. So could we sit? <laughs> I hope that you had a great week. Who had a bad week? That's awesome. That means all of you had a good week. Cool, cool. Um, this morning as we worship, I just want to let y'all know that um, the altar is open. And I'm a little tired today too. But the good thing about Jesus is that you can find rest in him that lasts. And not just rest for like if you're just sleepy, but like rest for your soul. The good kind of rest to where when you wake up, you feel excited to be alive for the opportunities that he's going to bring for you that day. And um, I hope that this morning that all of you can find that just rest for your soul. And that peace that really does pass understanding like you're in the middle of chaos and you're not really sure why you have it, but it's just there and once you start noticing that, it becomes super cool just to really know that you're living out this thing, you know. So that's my prayer for you guys this morning. I hope that um, y'all will, if you're already on the journey to experiencing that and just being in the presence of the Lord daily and momently, um, that you would just continue out that journey this morning and that it would take you to a deeper level. So y'all worship with us as we worship this morning. <laughs>
saves you, you're never the same. You don't have to stay with the same past mindsets. You don't have to stay with the same past burdens that you carry. He takes that. He says, give your burdens to me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And if you don't know what that means, come talk to me about it. I love to talk about that. About how easy his yoke is and what that really entails for us as as children. Y'all join in with us.
Oh, oh, oh. 
are so thankful that just like that song says, no matter what comes, whatever lies ahead, we can sing your praises with a heart that knows that you are true to your word, that you keep your promises. Lord, you keep your word. It doesn't falter, it doesn't waver. that that would be a declaration for each of us that it wouldn't just be a song that we sing Lord I thank you that at the end of the day we will still be singing your praises at the end of the day I will still be singing your praises no matter my circumstance no matter what happened or what will happen Lord I know that you go before me and that you fight my battles It is something that we can rely on and depend on. I know that your love is so deep, so high. I pray that this week, if there's somebody that needs to know that they would ask the question, how high is your love, Lord? How deep is your love for me, Lord? And I thank you that you'll be ready, ready to answer. passion stirring within our souls this week to serve you, to love you to walk with you to just sit in your presence to just be in your presence Lord because nothing else matters Lord I thank you for your love today, I thank you for showing up today for me and for each and every person here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace and your truth today. Amen.